Hopefully you got your program to work. But for those of you that may not have, let's take a look at how you could have done it. Now if we want to continue and go from the last point back up to here to produce a triangle, let's go back to 0, 0. So we'll do another line 2 and go back to 0, comma 0. Notice that we've produced the entire triangle. What if we wanted to make each of the sides a different color? Once we've set the color to red, it will stay red until we change it. So for example, if I put a blank line in between the first two line statements and put set color to green, what do you think would happen? Would it be just the next line or both of the lines? If you chose the next two, you're correct. Because once we've set it to green, all remaining statements will be done in green until something else happens. Let's go down to the next position. In this case, let's do the line width and make it very wide, let's say 20. Notice that that last one is very wide, but it's still in the color green because we didn't specify something different. Let's go back. Right after we set the line width, if we were to do a set color and set that color to blue, run the program again, we see the first red line, the next green line, and then the big thick blue line. Notice the program simply does everything sequentially. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to programming. For more examples, read Chapter 1 in Robots in the Classroom. For now, though, we need a little assignment to see if you've learned the proper things. Your challenge is to write a program that will draw a triangle similar to this near the center of the screen. It should be about 200 pixels tall and 200 pixels wide. That means the top of the triangle will probably be at about 400, 200 for its X and Y coordinates. Use three different colors. I've used red, green, and blue. And make each side a different width.